When Elias Brotberger goes to work, he doesn't need ID. And he doesn't need money. In fact, much of what he needs to get through the day is hidden right there, just below the surface in his hand. You like to touch it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's yeah. like a grain of rice. Yeah, a grain of rice. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. Yeah, it's all on chip, so I use it like to get around the building. Buy snacks. Yeah, exactly. Let's buy some snacks. Exactly. So I can't open it. No. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to first blip my chip and it will log me in. Mm -hmm. And from there, I get access to the fridge. Popular TV shows like Black Mirror have imagined chips as part of a dystopian future. Install ingrain procedure with local anesthetic and you're good to go. In Sweden, the microchips are already here. The microchip implants use the same technology that's in contactless credit cards. Which have made cash pretty much obsolete in Sweden. No cash. At this tech fair, a chipping event for those on the cutting edge, merging their hands with this new technology. I thought it would be fun, right? The process is simple and swift. A pinch of the skin, and in a matter of seconds, the chip is inserted. The transformation is complete. As for the pain... I barely felt it. But even in this nation of early adopters, not everyone is racing to get chipped. I feel less human. I will feel like a robot. I think, I mean, it's so much more data can go into this, you know, when it's in your body. There's no central registry tracking how many people are chipped, but biohacker Hannes Wellblood estimates between five and 10,000. In the future, do you think everyone is going to be chipped? I think it will be voluntary, but I am certainly convinced that millions of people will find it very, very valuable to have a smart device under their skin. Human microchipping may be our future, but in Sweden, it's already reality. Sarah Harmon, NBC News, Stockholm. My brothers and sisters, um, a lot of people believe that microchip is the mark of the beast. It's been years now since the speculation that microchip is going to be the mark of the beast. And the Europeans are in the forefront of pushing this. So whenever you hear of the microchip, the next thing that comes to your mind is mark of the beast. Anyone that hears of microchip in the hand or forehead, what comes to their mind is mark of the beast. Microchip, mark of the beast. Those two words are now together. Microchip, mark of the beast. They are now together. But mark of the beast has nothing to do with microchip. Mark of the beast is not microchip. Mark of the beast has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with microchip. You are dealing with the devil. You are dealing with Satan. Let's go to Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12. Revelation 12 shows you what you're dealing with. You cannot underestimate what you're dealing with. So this is Revelation chapter 12 in verse 9. Revelation 12 verse 9, it says, So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old called the devil and Satan who deceives the whole world. He was cast out to the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Satan have deceived the whole world. You have to understand, my brothers and sisters, like all the other things I've shared with you, I don't have any speculation in me. I don't have any doubt in me. I'm not telling you that I think that this is. It could be this. It could be that. I feel like. I think. I'm not using those words. I'm telling you. Without a doubt. I'm telling you with all confidence. That mark of the beast has nothing to do with microchip. This is nothing but a distraction from the devil. 
He is the author of confusion. The whole idea is to create confusion, create an illusion or confusion to confuse, confuse you. So have all this scenario, have all these things that then ends up confusing you. You don't know which one is which. Is it microchip? Is it 666? That's what this is all about. Are people going to accept the microchip? Yes. People are going to accept microchip. Should you accept microchip? It's up to you. But microchip has nothing to do with the mark of the beast, my brothers and sisters. Absolutely not. Because if you go back to the if you go back to the commandment, as a matter of fact, I need to pull up something. It's very important. It just came to my mind right now to show it. So let me pull it up and show. I know I have it somewhere because I think it will help to make sense. If it's not important, then I will just forget it. Let me let me show you something. I like to be very illustrative and not just say things, but to show you and demonstrate it to help you understand what is being said. I know I have this image somewhere and I'm going to find it. I'm definitely going to find it. Yeah, I was willing. No, it's somewhere. It's somewhere here. I will find you. Oh, I should have been looking on. I'm looking at the wrong place. Facebook. There you go. Yes, there you go. Here. This is it. This is it. So my brothers and sisters, this is what the devil is doing. This is what Satan is doing. So if you look closely on this picture, as you can see, all these slippers are basically the same. All these slippers are the same. So imagine that you walk inside a house. Imagine you, put up, you, you, you remove your slippers and then walk inside the house. And then you come out, there's a bunch of slippers that looks like your own. You become confused. You become confused. That's exactly what the devil is doing or the issue of the mark of the beast. He is a deceiver. That is his job. Your job is to understand what is going on. Mark of the beast has nothing to do with microchip. When you step outside and you see something like this, you become confused. Same thing with your phone. Imagine that you drop your phone on a table. You, walk, you go into the bathroom. After taking shower, you come outside, you come out back to the living room, and there's like 100 phones that looks like your phone. Hundreds of phones or 100 phones that look like your own. They all look like your phone. Of course, you're a human being. You're going to become confused, just like what you see on the picture. You become confused because all these things, all these slippers, they mostly look like your own. That's what the devil is doing to create confusion, 
create counterfeits. So now people are thinking, oh, uh, is it is it COVID? It could be COVID. Oh, it's COVID. Is it the injection? Is it the injection? The injection is it? Oh, is it is it uh, 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 Bitcoin? It could be Bitcoin. Maybe it's Bitcoin. My brothers and sisters, every one of these things that have come out, people have wondered. I'm telling you, it could be digital currency. Oh, I don't want to be part of digital currency. Oh, I don't want to be part of it. It's mark, it's mark of the beast. It could be digital currency. It could be Bitcoin. It could be the injection that they're giving people for so-called COVID. It could be that injection that they give you. You know, the, the drug that they inject inside of you. Oh, that could be mark of the beast. Oh, uh, uh, microchip. It could be it could be microchip. So that simply creates confusion. It creates confusion in people's head. That's what's going on here, my brothers and sisters. Meanwhile, people have already accepted the mark of the beast already. Because the mark of the beast is nothing but a counterfeit. Mark of the beast is not spiritual. It is not physical. Mark of the beast is not physical. Mark of the beast is not a microchip. Mark of the beast is not a microchip, as you saw in that video. So whenever you see a video like the video I showed you, people get scared. There, are, there were people that were scared. Oh, I don't want to uh, get injected because of the so-called corona. I don't want to get injected. So people are scared. People are scared of the of the uh, of the di digital currency. People are scared of microchip. It has nothing to do with the mark of the beast because I'm going to show you, give you more information. I'm not just telling you stuff. I am bold. I'm confident in what I'm telling you. I'm not guessing. Go watch any other video about mark of the beast. They guess it could be this. It could be that. I think it could be this. We don't know yet. It could be this. No, I'm not using those words. I know 100% what I'm telling you. Because you're dealing with Satan. It's the idea is to confuse you. Mark of the beast is something spiritual. Mark of the beast is a spiritual mark. Mark of, mark of the beast is a spiritual mark. It's not something you can touch. It's not something you can touch. It is simply the counterfeit of God's mark. And you know that God has the mark. If you're watching this video and you don't know that, look for my other videos about that say that God has a mark. Mark of the beast is a counterfeit of God's mark because God has a mark. And mark of the beast is simply a counterfeit to God's mark. Now, let me give you a little bit more information, biblical information, to show you that mark of the beast has nothing to do with microchip. Mark of the beast has nothing to do with microchip. Mark of the beast has nothing to do with microchip whatsoever. And mark of the beast is also not 666. It is not 666. When you, in order for you to understand this, you cannot underestimate the, the evil one, Satan. Satan is the one that wants people to accept the mark of the beast. Satan is the one that wants people to accept the mark of the beast. How do we know? Let's go to Revelation chapter 13. Look. From verse 2. Look. The beast I saw resembled a leopard, but had feet like those of a bear and a mouth like that of a lion. The dragon, the dragon, the dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority. The dragon. Who is the dragon? Let's go to Revelation chapter 14 or chapter, chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12. So the great dragon was cast out. That serpent of old called the devil and Satan who deceived the whole world. So dev, the dragon is Satan. The dragon is, is, is Satan. Satan is the dragon. And if you go to Revelation chapter 13, verse 2, you see that the beast gets its power from Satan. The beast gets its power from Satan. That is not what I'm telling you. I'm not telling you that. I'm showing it to you. Revelation chapter 13, verse 2. 
the beast gets its power from, from, from Satan. The dragon gave the beast, the dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority. So the Europeans get their power from the devil because Satan controls this world. Job 9.24, Job 9.24, Job 9.24. The earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. Luke chapter 4, Luke chapter 4, verse 1 to 8. You see Satan telling Yahushua Christ, if you will worship, all the kingdoms of the earth has been given to me. All the kingdoms of the world has been given to me. If you will worship me, I will give you the glories of this world. And you don't see Christ arguing with Satan and saying that he was lying. Because Christ understood, yes, Satan was telling the truth. The earth has been given to him, like you see in Job 9.24. That is why Satan, Satan was able to give his power to the beast. And who is the beast? The Europeans. The Europeans are the descendant of the Roman Empire. The Europeans, the white Americans, white Canadians, Australians, white Germans, French, white British, white Canadians. These people are the descendant of the Roman Empire. They are the beast and they get their power from the devil. Says Revelation chapter 13 verse 2. So if you now come to chapter 12, who are you dealing with? When you're dealing, when you're dealing with the beast, anything you deal with the issue of the mark of the beast, you're dealing with the devil. You have to be very careful. Because it tells you in chapter 12. So the dragon, the great dragon was cast out. That serpent of old called the devil. And Satan, who deceived the whole world. The whole world has been deceived. Satan has created a counterfeit mark. And you confuse. There are different, different, it, oh, it could be this, it could be microchip, it could be the, the, uh, the vaccine, it could, be, it could be Bitcoin, it could be digital currency. People are guessing, and then that creates confusion without you realizing that you already have the mark of the beast. You already have the mark of the beast because the mark of the beast is the counterfeit of God's mark. God, our Heavenly Father, tells us what his mark is. Our Heavenly Father tells us what his mark is. God tells us what his mark is in Exodus 31. Exodus 31. Therefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations as a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and you and the children of Israel forever. For in six days, Yahweh made the heavens and the earth. And on the seventh day, he rested and was refreshed. We know that this word, the sign, is mark. We know that. The word sign and mark is the same thing. We already went through that. You can see it in Hebrew. For those who don't know, the word sign and mark is the same thing. That word sign, this is the Hebrew word, ot, and it means, sign means mark. Sign means mark. This is the Hebrew word. You can Google it. That's the Hebrew number. It is strong concordance. Strong concordance is a Hebrew dictionary. That tells you what a, a word means in Hebrew. So sign means mark. As you can see, sign means mark. It also means six. As you see here, beacon, six. Monument, omen, six. Prodigy, evidence, etc. Mark, miracle. In sign, token, sign, mark, uh, signal. Sign, signal, a distinguished mark. That's in the Hebrew dictionary. So the Hebrew dictionary shows you, Hebrew dictionary shows you that the word the sign means mark. That word the sign means mark. That's not what I'm telling you. I'm not telling you this. This is not my opinion. I'm showing it to you from the Hebrew dictionary. That word the sign means mark. And then you go to man-made dictionary. You go to man-made dictionary. You see that the word sign also means mark. That's not my opinion. This is not what I think. The word sign definition. I googled it. Sign definition. 
from Merriam Webster Dictionary. The Latin word signum, meaning mark or indication, gives us the root sign. Words from the Latin signum have something to do with marks. So you look up, look this up in Hebrew. It means sign, it means mark. Look it up in man made dictionary. It also means mark. So let me show you another dictionary. Here's another one. Another man made dictionary. The definition of a mark is sign. The definition of mark is sign. Do you see what I'm doing here? So I show you from Hebrew dictionary that sign. The word sign also means mark. The word sign means mark. That's not my opinion. This is not what I think. I'm not the one that put this together. And then I also show you from a man-made dictionary. From a man-made dictionary. That you, you also see that the word sign also means mark. That's not my opinion. And then let's, let's look up the word. Let's look up the word mark. We see that the word sign means mark. You look up the word mark. Look, the word mark. The definition of, mark, of a mark is a sign. The definition of a mark is a sign. So do you see that sign means mark? Mark means sign. So now let's go back to the word of the Most High. It tells us that the Sabbath day is a mark. Sabbath is God's mark. Therefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations as a perpetual covenant. It is a mark between me and the children of Israel forever. God's Sabbath days are his mark. I have shown it to you from Hebrew dictionary and man-made dictionary. And the mark of the beast is nothing but a counterfeit of God's mark. Mark of the beast is not a physical mark. Mark of the beast is not physical. The devil is a liar. The devil is a confuser. A deceiver. That, that is also not my opinion. When I tell you that the devil is a deceiver, that's not my opinion. That's not what I think. That's Revelation chapter 12 verse 9. Notice what I'm doing here. Notice the pattern that I operate. I'm not giving you what I think or my opinion. I'm not sitting here trying to convince you to accept my point of view of the Bible. I'm showing you. So when I say that the devil is, is a deceiver, I have deceived the world. If I just sit here and tell you that, brother, sister, believe me. Believe me that mark of the a microchip is not the mark of the beast. Believe me. And I give you a bunch of sentiments. You should just trust me and believe. No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm giving you evidence. I'm showing you that the Bible shows that the devil have deceived the whole world. And who is the one showing you macro, uh, uh, microchip? Who? Who is promoting microchip? The Europeans. The Europeans are the descendant of the Roman Empire. The Europeans are descendant of the Roman Empire. That's a fact. The Europeans are the descendant of the Roman Empire. They are the beast. Do you see what is going on here? Is that my opinion? I have proven these things from the scripture. I'm not sitting here and giving you my opinion. These people, the Europeans, are the beast that the Bible spoke of. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the video about who is the beast. Watch that video so you can understand what I'm talking about. So they are the beast. They are of the, of the devil. That's not my opinion. Revelation chapter 13 verse 2 tells you that the beast gets its, its power. The beast gets his power from the dragon. Who, who gave you man-made calendar? Is it the Chinese, the Latinos, the Africans, the Arabs? No, it's the Europeans. Who is giving you microchip? The Latinos, the Arabs, the Africans, the Asians? No, it's the Europeans. The idea is to create confusion, to throw you off from what the mark of the beast is all about. Create confusion and throw you off. 
you're there scratching your head. Each time you have a new, a new thing that comes into the market, you start wondering, oh, I don't know, is that the mark of the beast? Is it Bitcoin? Is it digital currency? Is it COVID? Is it microchip? Meanwhile, you already have the mark of the beast. You already have the mark of the beast because Saturday and Sunday worship is the mark of the beast. Saturday and Sunday worship is the mark of the beast. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let, let's go to uh, Daniel chapter 7. For those who don't know, Daniel chapter 7. Daniel 7. Look at what it says here. Daniel chapter 7. New reverse standard version, updated edition. Daniel 7, 23 to 25. This is what he said. As for the fourth beast, there shall be a fourth kingdom on earth that shall be different from all the other kingdoms. He shall devour the whole earth and trample it down and break it in pieces. As for the ten horns out of this kingdom, ten kings shall arise and another king shall arise after them. This one shall be different from all from the former ones and shall put down three kings. He shall speak words against the Most High, shall wear out the holy ones of the Most High, and shall attempt to change the ritual calendar. I am not the one that put this translation together. I didn't write this Bible. It said that the beast will try to change the ritual calendar of the Israelite. The beast will try to change the ritual calendar. That is the, the feast calendar. The calendar that God gave the Israelite to use to keep his holy days. He said that the beast will try to change their calendar, that calendar and the law of the Israelites. Daniel 7.25 The beast will speak against the Most High and will wear out. He will, he will wage war on the Israelite. And they will attempt to change the calendar of the Israelite and the law of the Israelite. That has happened. Because God gave us the sun and the moon to be our calendar. God gave us the sun and the moon to be our calendar. We're supposed to keep the Sabbath according to the phases of the moon. Because if you remember, God said that the Sabbath day is his, is his mark. Sabbath is God's mark. Sabbath is God's mark. That's not my opinion. If you're being honest, you can admit that I've not given you my opinion. I've proven to you that the Sabbath day is God's mark. That is a fact. That's not my opinion. I am not guessing. And God gave us, in fact, let me, let me not just say it because I, I don't, I don't want to be sentimental. Let me show you Sirach or Ecclesiasticus from the KJV. Ecclesiasticus 43. Ecclesiasticus. Because if I tell you that the moon is God's calendar, you may not believe me. Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus chapter 43 from KJV, from King James Bible Online. King James Bible Online. For those who will say, well, brother, I don't believe you. I don't accept that book. I'm, I'm very sure that you accept it if it comes from KJV, right? Ecclesiasticus chapter 43. Ecclesiasticus 43, verse 6 to 8. Ecclesiastes 43, 6 to 8. He made the moon also to serve in her seasons for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. From the moon is a sign of feasts, a light that decreased in her perfection. The month is called after her name, like the moon. Moon. It used to be moon, moon before they removed one, one, alphabet, one alphabet. Now it's moon. Supposed to be moon. Increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the armies of above, shining in the firmament of heaven. So verse 7 says that from the moon is the sign of feasts. From the moon is the sign of feasts. What I'm doing here right now is I'm showing you that the moon is God's calendar. But I don't want to say it. I want to show it to you. The moon is God's calendar. The moon is God's calendar. You go to Psalm 104 verse 19. You see the same thing. Psalm 104 verse 19. Psalm 104 verse 19. 
the moon is God's calendar. He said that from the moon is a sign for feasts. From the moon is a sign for feasts. You now go to Leviticus 20, 23 to see the feasts. Leviticus 23. Look at what the Mosai said about his feast days. So if you want to keep these feast days, you have to look at the moon. Leviticus 23. The feast of the Lord. Feast of the Lord. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe saying, speak to the children of Israel and say to them, the feasts, the feasts of the Lord, which you shall proclaim to be a holy convocation. These are my feasts. Remember that from the moon is a sign for feast. That's not my opinion. Ecclesiasticus or Syrac, this book has two names. This book has two, has two names. From the moon is a sign for feasts. So you come to Leviticus 23, you see the feast of the Lord, which you shall proclaim to be a holy convocation. These are my feasts. Look at the first, of, first, the first one. The first of God's feasts. The first of God's feast. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of solemn rest, a holy convocation. You shall do no work on it. It is a Sabbath of Yahweh in all your dwellings. So Sabbath is the first of God's feast, followed by Passover and Feast of Unleavened Bread and Feast of First Fruit and Feast of Weeks and Feast of, uh, feast of Trumpet and Day of Atonement and then finally the Feast of Tabernacle. These are the Feast of God. But the number one is the Sabbath day. According to God, the number one of his feast days is the Sabbath day. These are my feasts. Number one, Sabbath, followed by Passover. So if you want to keep the Sabbath, you have to look at the moon. According to Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiasticus chapter 43, verse 7. From the moon is a sign of feasts. Now let's go to Genesis chapter 1. Genesis 1. Genesis 1, 14. Genesis 1, 14. To 16. And God said, Let there be light in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them serve as a sign to mark sacred times. Did you see that? Let them serve as a sign to mark sacred times. So if you want to know when to worship God, you look up in the sky. You have to look at the sun and the moon. But then, if you look at the sun, you cannot be able to tell the day of the week by looking at the sun. It's impossible for you to go outside and look at the sun and tell the day of the week. It's impossible. Let them mark serve as a sign to mark sacred times and days and years. So the moon is, a, is God's calendar. You can look at the moon and tell when to keep the Sabbath. You can look at the moon and tell when the Sabbath day is going to be. New moon day begins the month. New moon day is a worship day. New moon day begins the month. After the new moon day, you walk for six days and rest on the seventh day. And then the moon, is, the moon will most likely look half. The moon will usually look half. Seven days after the new moon, you observe your Sabbath. Seven days after, you walk for six days again. You rest on the seventh day. Now the moon, the moon will most likely look full. You observe your Sabbath. The next day you go to work. You work for six days. You rest on the seventh day. The moon is back to half. This is God's calendar. Now, that's not my opinion. I've shown it to you from the scripture. He said that he gave us the sun and the moon to use it to mark sacred times. You cannot look at the sun. It's impossible to look at the sun and tell the day of the week. The sun regulates the day. The sun regulates the day. You can look at the sun and tell the hour of the day. That's it. If you want to know the day of the week, you have to look at the moon. And Sabbath is on the seventh day of the week. So the moon is God's calendar. Now, if I go back to, to look at what he said the beast was going to do. Look at the beast, what the beast was supposed to do. According to Daniel chapter 7. He said that the beast, look, he shall speak words against the Most High shall wear out the holy ones, holy ones of the Most High and shall attempt to change their 
change the ritual calendar. The beast will try to change the ritual calendar. That is how we have the so-called Gregorian calendar we're using today. A man-made calendar. A fake calendar. So that is how we get Saturday worship and Sunday worship. That is not biblical. Mark of the beast is simply a counterfeit to God's mark. Mark of the beast is simply a counterfeit to God's mark. And it has nothing to do with microchip. It has nothing to do with 666. Microchip is not the mark of the beast. Microchip is not the mark of the beast. It's simply a, a, a confusion being pushed by the Europeans. And it creates confusion. Because the mark is, people are receiving it on their, on their, on their arm. They're receiving the mark on their arm, right? So it creates confusion. People receive the, the, the microchip on their arm. That's where they're receiving it, on their arm. And that creates confusion because you're thinking, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. Microchip on the arm. Microchip on the arm. That sounds like the mark of the beast. That sounds like the mark of the beast. Wait a minute. I see what they're doing. I see what is going on. I'm not going to be fooled. I'm not receiving a microchip. This has to be the mark of the beast. This is what you're thinking. Not realizing that the devil is a liar. He's a deceiver. You don't, re you don't realize that the devil is a liar. A deceiver. A chief confuser. He's using the Europeans to confuse you. And throw you off from what the actual mark is all about. Mark of the beast is simply a counterfeit to God's mark. Mark of the beast is a counterfeit to God's mark. I encourage you, if you haven't watched the video, watch my video about the mark of the beast being a counterfeit to God's mark. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, look under this video, you will see the links. Look under this video, you will see the links to the other videos and watch it. So you can see in details how the beast counterfeited God's mark. I have a video that is titled, Mark of the Beast is a Counterfeit to God's Mark. Watch that video. Mark of the Beast is just a counterfeit to God's mark because God has a mark. I also have another video that says that God has a mark. Watch that video. Watch that video. God has a mark and the mark of the beast is just a counterfeit to that. That is what is going on. This whole thing about microchip, Bitcoin, all these things is to create confusion, to throw you off. Meanwhile, you already have the mark of the beast. Meanwhile, you already have the mark of the beast. Because if you are not keeping Sabbath according to the moon, you already have the mark of the beast. Already. If you are worshipping on Saturday, you have the mark of the beast. If you're worshipping God on Sunday, you have the mark of the beast. Because God never intended for us to worship on Sunday or on Saturday. It's called Saturn Day. Saturn Day. When, when, the, when the Roman Empire worshipped Saturn. Sunday, when they worship the sun, that's not the day of worship that God wants us to worship. You have to use God's calendar. Now, that brings us... This brings us to the second point. This brings us to the second point about 666. 666. Again, 666 has nothing to do with the mark of the beast <gasps> brother what brother what are you saying brother how can you talk like that what this brother is crazy how can you say that 666 is not going to be the mark of the beast the mark of the beast will not come as a 666 my brother my sister listen i will show it to you i will prove it to you from the scriptures. Mark of the beast will not be given to you as a 666. Do you think that the devil is dumb? Do you think that the devil is dumb? So after all this publicity about 666, you actually believe that the devil is going to be, you know, organize something and then start chasing people around. To give you 666. Really? If 
if there is any kind of organization going on to give people 666, people will resist it. Because people already, people are already aware, aware of 666. People are already aware of 666. The devil is not going to come with that because you already know about that already. Mark of the Beast has already been accepted. And Mark of the Beast will not be given to you as a 666. No. The problem is that we focus so much on this topic without actually looking at the scripture that talks about it. Let's go to Revelation right now. Let's go to Revelation chapter 13. Chapter, chapter 13. We focus so much on it without looking at the looking at the scripture that talks about it. Now let's look at the this the book and see how the mark will be given. Let's see how it will be given. It says, let's start from here. Then I saw a second beast. Revelation chapter 13 from verse 11. Revelation 13 from verse 11. Then I saw a second beast coming out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, but spoke like a dragon. It exercised all the authority of the first beast on its behalf and made the earth and its inhabitants to worship the first beast whose fatal wound had been healed. And it performed great signs and causing fire to come down from, from heaven to the earth in full view of the people. Because of the signs, it has, it has because of the signs, it was giving power to perform on behalf of the first beast. It deceived the inhabitants of the earth. In order, it ordered them to set up an image in, in honor of the first beast who was wounded by the sword and yet lived. The second beast was given power to give bread to the image of the first beast so that the image could speak and cause all who refused to worship the image of the beast to be killed. It forced, it, it forced all the people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand and their forehead so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark which is the which is the name of the beast did you see that my brothers and sisters do you see verse 17 so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark which is the name of the beast or the number of its name. Do you see that all? Let me highlight it. Because if you're sitting around and waiting for the day that the devil will chase you around to receive 66, you're going to wait and wait until you grow old and grow gray hair and die. We are missing the all, boy or girl, man or woman, day or night. It said that the, 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 the mark will be given. It will either come as the name of the beast or the number of its name. The number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. That number is 666. The Bible never said that anybody is going to be chased around and be given 666. What the Bible said is Revelation chapter 13, verse 17 that you're looking at. The devil will try to make you receive the mark of the beast in different ways. It will not come to you solely as 666 because you're smart, you are intelligent, you are wise. You already know about 666. And for some of you, they will have to kill you first before you accept 666. And the devil understands that. The Satan, under, Satan understands that. Do not, do not, 
forget what the Bible tells you. The mark of the beast will not be given to you as a 666. Do you see this thing here, 666? Do you see 666? It's just a, a code word for the mark of the beast. It's a code word. It's a code word. Like, for example, look here in verse 2 of the same chapter, chapter 13. Look, verse 2. He said that the dragon gave the beast his power. The dragon is a code word. Again, here I go again. Listen, watch me. Here I go again. I'm, 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 I'm giving you facts. I'm not giving you my opinion. If I tell you that the dragon is a code word for the devil, am I lying? I'm not lying. Look at chapter, chapter 12 of Revelation. It said, so the great dragon was cast out. That serpent of old called the devil and Satan. So if I call, if I call Satan, if I call Satan the dragon, I'm 100% right. Why? Because the Bible calls Satan the dragon. If I call Satan serpent, I'm 100% right. Because the Bible calls Satan serpent. Now, does that mean that, does that, mean that Satan is a snake? Does that mean that if you see a snake, you have seen Satan? Is that what it means? Remember, 666 is just a code word. Just like, just like the de uh, dragon is a code word for, 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 for Satan. Serpent is a code word for Satan. This is a fact. Now, let me give you more. Let's go to chapter, chapter 14, verse 10. Chapter 14. I'm going to start from verse 9. Revelation chapter 14. Oh, chapter 14 from verse 9. And a third angel followed them and said in a loud voice, if anyone worships the beast and its image and receive its mark on their forehead or on their arm, they too will drink the wine of God's fury, which has been poured, has been poured, which has been poured full strength into the cup of his indignation of his wrath. They will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the lamb, the lamb, the holy angels and of the lamb. Those who worship the beast or accept the mark of the beast will suffer in front of the holy angels and the lamb. Anybody who knows the Bible knows that Christ, Yahushua, is described as a lamb. Christ is described as a lamb. Christ is described as a lamb. Does he mean that Christ is an animal, a sheep? Does he, let me show you, lamb. Let's see a lamb. Because the Bible calls him a lamb. Does he mean that this is what Christ looks like? Does he mean that this is Christ? Is that what you're telling me? Because the Bible said that calls Christ a lamb. Are you telling me that Christ looks like this? Is that what you're telling me? No. Christ was described as a lamb. Satan was described as a dragon. Dragon. Satan was described as a dragon. Now, does that mean that Satan is, a, is, 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 is an actual dragon? He was also described as a serpent. Does that mean that he is a serpent? Satan is described as a dragon. Does that, mean that Satan, does that mean that he looks like this? These are code words, my brothers and sisters. These are nothing but code words. These are code words. So I have shown you that Christ was called a lamb in Revelation chapter 14. Christ was called a lamb. 
Revelation chapter 14, verse 10. He they describe this is not the only place that he was called a lamb. This is not the only place. Christ is described as a lamb. Does that mean that Christ is an actual animal? No. Remember the point I'm making right now. 666 is nothing but a code word. It's just a code word. Now, chapter 22. Revelation 22. Let me show you one more place. Chapter 22. Verse 3. Look at what it says. And there shall be no more cause but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it and his servant shall serve him. So here you see Christ being described as a lamb. This is not the only place. I can show you other places where Christ is described as a lamb. Does that mean that, that this is what Christ looks like? Absolutely not. Now, one more place. In Revelation, uh, Daniel chapter 7, from verse 23, the beast. This is what he said. As of the fourth beast, there shall be fourth kingdom on earth. So the beast is just a fourth kingdom that will rule the earth. The beast is not a wild animal. Mark of the beast, mark of the beast, 666, 666, mark of the beast, mark of the beast, mark of the beast, 666, mark of the beast. Nobody even slows down to ask, wait a minute, wait, what is the beast? If you look at Daniel chapter 7 from verse 23, it tells you what the beast is. The beast is the fourth kingdom that will rule the earth. The fourth kingdom that will rule the earth. I have a video on that. Watch the video about the beast. Who is the beast? Or the Europeans are the beast of Revelation. Watch that video. I have that video on YouTube right now. The Europeans are the beast of Revelation. Or the beast of 666. So again, let's, I'm, I'm giving you three different evidence here. The Bible describes the fourth kingdom as a beast. The Bible describes Christ as a lamb. The Bible describes Satan as a dragon and also as a, as a serpent, a snake. So now when you come to Revelation chapter 13, when you come to Revelation chapter 13, where it talks about 666, pay attention in verse 17. Revelation chapter, 7, chapter 13, verse 17. So that they could not buy or sell. They, they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark, which is the name of the beast or the number of its name. So my brother and sister, listen. There is no only, you don't have only one way that the mark of the beast will be given to you. There is no one particular way. It's either going to be this or this. Do you understand that? The whole world knows about 666 right now. The whole world is waiting for 666. That is not how the devil will come at you. The whole world have accepted the mark of the beast. So this word is 666. Is just a code word. Just like the word, the beast, is a code word for the fourth kingdom. The word beast is a code word for the fourth kingdom. Let's look at Daniel chapter 7 again from this translation. Daniel 7. Daniel's vision of four beasts. Now let's see in verse 23 what the four, what, who the beast is. Verse 23. Then he said to me, this fourth beast is the fourth world power that will rule the earth. The fourth world power that will rule the earth. You see that? So can you imagine, can you imagine somebody expecting a wild animal to come and enforce the mark of the beast? Think about it. Can you imagine somebody expecting a wild animal to come from the ocean or to come from the bush? And come and begin to chase people around. Hey, I said the mark of the beast. No. The beast is just the fault. It's a good word. 
Lamb is a code word for Christ. Dragon is a code word for Satan. 666 is a code word for the mark of the beast. It doesn't mean just like Christ is not just like Christ. It doesn't mean that Christ is a lamb like this. It doesn't mean that the devil is a, is a dragon like this. It also doesn't mean that, 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 that the mark of the beast will be given to you as a 666 on your arm. No, my brother, my sister, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I am not guessing. I'm speaking to you boldly because I know I'm telling you the truth and giving you evidence. Look at Daniel, uh, uh, Revelation chapter, chapter 13, verse, 13 verse, va, 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 verse, verse 17. It clearly shows you that the mark of the beast will not be given to you in one way. It will either come, it will, it will either come from on this way or this way. Mark 666 is just a code word. Stop expecting it. Mark of the beast is already here. Mark of the beast has already been accepted. Because mark of the beast is just a counterfeit to God's mark. God has a mark. And he, God's mark is his Sabbath days. As I've already explained. Watch my video. Watch the video uh, that, about the mark of the beast. Mark of the beast being a counterfeit. God has a mark. And the mark of the beast is simply, simply a counterfeit to God's mark. And you're dealing with a deceiver, the devil, who have deceived the whole world. According to Revelation chapter 12, verse 9, people are confused. Is it Bitcoin? Is it COVID whatever? Is it microchip? Is it... Uh, 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 digital currency. People are confused. Meanwhile, the mark of the beast has already been, been received already. Mark of the beast has already been received by most people in the world. So please, remove your mind on that 666 thing. Because the, the devil is not dumb. Satan is not foolish. The world knows about 666 now. They're expecting it. And the devil will not come at you with that. The devil will not come at you with 666. 666 is just a code word. If you go to the original, 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 original word that it was written in, are you going to see the number 666 there? Are you going to see the number 666? The Bible was not written in English. Revelation was not written in English. In English, it says 666. That's what it says in English. Understand what I'm showing you, my brothers and sisters. The point here is that mark of the beast is not about 666. 666 is just a code word for the actual mark of the beast. Mark of the beast is not a, a, a microchip. It is just deflections to create confusion, keep you confused. Come up with all the different, 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 different angles of information. So now you're scratching your head. Meanwhile, you already have the mark of the beast. You already have the mark of the beast already. That is what's going on here, my brother. Open your eyes, my brothers and sisters. Open your eyes and understand what the devil is doing. Revelation chapter, chapter 13 verse 2. Revelation chapter 13 verse 2 tells you that the beast gets its power from the devil. Who is a deceiver? They create all kinds of confusion to throw you off from the actual mark of the beast to throw you off from the actual mark of the beast. And the mark of the beast is a counterfeit to God's mark. Mark of the beast has nothing to do with 666 or microchip. Mark of the beast has already been accepted. Mark of the beast has already been accepted. Mark of the beast is already here. Most people in this world has the mark of the beast already. Most people have the mark of the beast already. Because mark of the beast is just a counterfeit to God's mark. God has a mark. And mark of the beast has nothing to do. Mark of the beast has nothing to do with microchip. Absolutely not. I have proven it to you. I've shown it to you. Stop looking that way. Stop looking that way. It's a ploy from the devil to distract you. Stop looking that way. Focus on the word of the Most High. 
you need to identify what is God's mark. God has a mark. That is the only reason why God told us not to accept the mark of the beast. Because God has a mark. Watch my video about, about God's mark. Watch my video about God's mark. If you cannot find those videos online, contact me. I will send you a link. Look on my channel. You will see all these videos on my YouTube channel. You will see all these videos there. If you cannot find it, call me, contact me, and I will send you a link to watch it. Look on my website. You will see those videos. Look on my website and click on 666. You will see all those videos. Same thing on my app. Click on 666 or Mark of the Beast. You will see all those videos. God has a mark. And the mark of the beast is simply a, a, a counterfeit to God's mark. Mark of the beast is a counterfeit to God's mark. And you have to accept God's mark. I have a video. I have a video on who is the beast. Europeans are the beast. I have a video on who is Antichrist. Constantine is Antichrist. Watch this video to get full knowledge, true knowledge about these topics, so you can escape the mark of the beast. So all praises to our Heavenly Father. Mark of the beast has nothing to do with 666 or microchip. It's just a deflection to throw you off. You're confused, scratching your head. You don't know where to start. Meanwhile, you already have the mark of the beast. Mark of the beast has nothing. To, is, mark of the beast is not even physical. Mark of the beast is not a physical mark, 666. Mark of the beast is not a physical mark, 666 or microchip. Absolutely not. Thank you for your interest in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us through WhatsApp. You can call us or send us a message. You can also email us at lawstogod at gmail.com. Check out our website at www.lawstogodskingdom.com. Don't forget, you can also use Skype to call us. Just download Skype on your phone and search for Laws to God.